Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the problem on second law of thermodynamics. So, let's get started. Now, here is the question in front of us. It is given that a reversible heat engine operates with two environments. It means there are two different conditions given. In the first, it draws 12,000 kilowatts from a source at 400 degrees Celsius. And in the second, it draws 25,000 kilowatts from a source at 100 degrees Celsius. Then, in both the operations, the engine rejects heat to a thermal sink at 20 degrees Celsius. Determine the operation in which the engine delivers more power. So, the question here is, we have to find out that out of the two conditions, or we can say the two engines, which engine is developing more power? So that is what we have to calculate. Now when we say power, power also means the amount of work which is produced by the engine. And I am denoting that with the letter W. So in other words, we have to calculate that which engine out of the two is developing more amount of work. So in order to explain the problem further, I would be drawing the diagram and let's get start with the solution part. Now into the solution part, there are two different cases given or two different environments. I will be explaining them. So here I can say one is case number one and the other is case number second. So the two cases I would be explaining here, it is given, in the first, it draws 12,000 kilowatts. Draws means the engine one is taking a heat of 12,000 kilowatts. In other words, that is the heat supplied to the engine. So it is 12,000 kilowatts. Since, since it is kilowatt that is based on time, also called as kilojoule per second, I am putting a dot here that indicates the heat supplied in terms of time basis. Then 12,000 kilowatt is taken from a source at 400 degrees Celsius. So from where the heat has been taken that is called as the source at a temperature or a higher temperature T1 400 degrees Celsius. I will convert it into Kelvin by adding 273. So 400 plus 273 it becomes 673 Kelvin. So that is the source temperature and always source temperature would be the higher temperature. Then and in the second it draws 25,000 kilowatts. So in the second condition the heat which is taken by the engine is 25,000 kilowatt. And it is taken from a source at 100 degrees Celsius. So here the source temperature is 100. When I convert it into Kelvin, it becomes 373 Kelvin by adding 273 to 100. Next. In both the operations, the engine rejects heat to a thermal sink at 20 degrees Celsius. So in both the cases, the sink temperature is same, 20 degrees Celsius. So at 273, it becomes 293 Kelvin. So always remember that source would be having a higher temperature, sink having the lower temperature. Engine E1 is taking in heat 12,000 kilowatts from high temperature source rejecting heat to the low temperature sink and in that it is producing a work of W1. Similarly for engine 2 taking in heat from a source at temperature T1 which is 373 Kelvin the amount of heat taken is 25,000 kilowatt on time basis. Similarly it is producing a work of Q1 dot minus Q2 dot that is based on time. Now we have to identify that out of both the conditions which engine is developing more power or which engine 
is developing more amount of work so for that i can write down that since the carnot efficiency is the maximum amount of efficiency which is possible between the same temperature limits so here i can say that since efficiency of engine 1 the general formula of efficiency is output upon input so output of an engine is the amount of work produced which is w1 and input is the heat supplied so which is q1 dot in other words the engine would be developing w1 amount of power by taking a heat of q1 dot then now w1 can also be written as q1 dot minus q2 dot divided by q1 dot and this same thing can be written or the heat transfer can be written in the form of temperature so q1 dot is taken from source which is at t1 q2 dot is rejected to the sink at temperature t2 upon q1 dot so in place of that t1 then i would be using these terms like for example w1 upon q1 dot is equal to t1 minus t2 divided by t1 so therefore w1 is equal to q1 dot would be multiplied over here and the unit of work would also be based upon time so w1 dot q1 dot is 12000 t1 is 673 in the first condition T two is two ninety three. So from this, I am getting W one dot, and my answer is six thousand seven hundred and seventy five point six three kilowatt. And this would be equation one for us. Now similarly, I would be calculating for the second engine. So I can say that similarly. efficiency for second engine would be equal to the amount of work produced that is output w2 dot upon heat supplied which is q1 dot it can be written as q1 dot minus q2 dot that is the amount of work which is produced divided by q1 dot and that also becomes t1 minus t2 upon t1 therefore i can use w2 dot upon q1 dot is equal to t1 minus t2 upon t1 q1 dot would be multiplied here putting all the values t1 is 373 so on calculating this the answer is 5361.93 kilowatts and that's the second equation so i can say that from equation 1 and 2 we can see that w1 dot is having a value 6775 and w2 is having a lesser value so it means w1 dot is greater than w2 dot so therefore engine 1 is developing more power so that's the answer at the end if you all find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching